So you mean to tell me I just pulled a 13 hour shift and I ain't got no food to come on to? Huh? Why you need to get something on your way home? Why you don't have to record it for your raggedy cousin? Look, I just pulled a 13 hour shift. You being my wife. I pay all the bills in here. All the dishes clean, your clothes clean. Wait, what? You you don't you don't fix me no lunch for my for, for my job. Wait, you eating? You work from home. Okay, I I can't come home to a full course meal. That's what that I had from last night. But I'm saying I I can't come home to a Why full course you? meal. What what we married for? What we married for? I'm not your mama. I'm your wife. Your dishes clean, your clothes clean, your clothes. You always got to clean your clothes when you go to work, don't you? Can you stop recording me? I can't come home to a full cost meal. Working all these long goddamn hours, I can't come home to a full cost meal. Huh? I just knew I was gonna come home and have have some food on the goddamn stove. Hmm. And now you playing, man? You playing? You, you playing? Got your way home. You well, you playing? What the hell we get married for? You been doing this for like two or three months, man? What is it? I can't get no food when I come to the house. You don't you you don't even you don't even tell me to have a good day when I leave out the house. Did you have a good day today? Fuck that, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. You over here eating pizza and shit. I'm, I'm you ain't you ain't called me all goddamn day since I've been at work. Damn can't come home to a, I, I make sure the kids good. They got school clothes, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. and they you eat. good, right? And they I pay the goddamn car notes, right? But why the, why the men in the house can't eat? Why I can't come home? I bet they, I, I bet they ate today. They did eat today. They eat every day. They sure do. They eat every day. They're supposed to eat every Because day. of who? Why your bank account got money in it? Why your bank account got money in it? What you mean? Why my bank account got money in it? Why would because you, you able to keep your money from your job. You don't pay no goddamn bill. I pay the car notes, the house notes. Every sport they in, I pay for it. Family trips, I'm paying for it. That's what you're supposed to do. Man, you know what? Provide and protect. Provide and protect. That's what you're supposed to do. Why the I can't get no food in the house then. Huh? Yeah. I gotta cook my own goddamn food? You finna make me cook my own goddamn food? You coulda got something on your way home. You yeah, right. I'm at home all the time. Right. Yeah, I work from home, but I wash your dishes, I clean the clothes, your children clothes, they taken care of. I don't understand why you complaining. You know what? Keep keep that motherfucker out of too. Yeah. There's a lot of red flags. First off, I'm gonna start off with old boy. He invited this type of mess in his life. And obviously, whether this is a skit or not, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. She either always been that way, been dusty as hell, or she would do a little bit and she didn't keep up with it. Dusty ass sitting over there eating pizza while the man working a 13 hour shift. And then she says, that's what you're supposed to be doing. That is like one of the most disrespectful things any chick could say to a man, especially after working 13 hours. It's like the, the king of the, of, the, of the castle can't get this, the same type of nurturing that the kids get. And that's messed up. And I've heard a lot of a lot of chicks say this before. Well, you know, the well, it's about the kids. You know, I'm I'm, giving, I'm gonna make sure my babies eat first. And with, with the kids, they 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 took a bath, and they'll they'll make up all these different types of excuses 
but jump over the head honcho who is the man of the house who's providing everything paying for everything all she got to do is kick back and just pretty much just play the fence save her money and all you got is just really just one good job and that's to make sure that man is good whatever that man requests you should give him that, especially if he taking care of everything. You ain't paying a lick of bills. You get to save your money. Yeah, you clean. Yeah, you take care of the kids. That's what you're supposed to do. So if it's the same thing to him, provide and protect, provide and protect. That's what you're supposed to do. Nurture and take care of your man and make sure he good. Make sure he ain't stressing. Oh my God, bro. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't even know why I'm letting these people bend and stir me up like this. But stuff like this really does happen in real life. But I will say this again. This is all this brother's fault. There's no in the way. There's no way in hell how this woman, how this chick was, um, was just, she just made a 380 like this and didn't give him what he wanted. She'd been doing this shit since day one. And he married her anyway. He knew she, he knew he had a dusty the moment he he met her. But he seemed like one of those type of brothers that was so eager and so desperate to have a woman that he just went ahead and just put a ring on her. And it sounds like to me that she run everything. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't want to hear nothing. That's like I don't want to hear any excuses when a chick is in the house, a woman in the house, and she's saying, yeah, but I, I, I wash the dishes and, and, and I wash your clothes, okay? Now, you don't really have to do the whole clothes thing. Everybody is different. I want my clothes washed, you know, but everybody ain't for the clothes thing. But the whole washing the dishes and making sure the kids are good, but, but skipping over your man, that is a huge problem. And also just handing him that pizza so nonchalantly, like it's just, like it's just whatever. The man said, you don't even tell me have a good day before I go to work. Yeah, bro, Kang, it's time to move on. If he didn't already. This could be a skit. This may not be a skit. But there's a lot of folks that actually deal with this stuff for real. And the world that we live in, there are a bunch of chicks out here that actually coddle and think this behavior is cute. They think this behavior is A-OK. -okay. Because what I always tell you, what Uncle Spoke always tell you, there's a, there's a fan base for everybody. And what I basically mean by that is no matter what type of behavior that you display, there's always going to be a fan base of folks that's going to coddle your behavior. And you're going to linger and, and adapt to that audience, that support base, in order to excuse your bullshit. So, like I said, this is this, this brother's fault. Uh, she knows exactly what she's doing. She knows exactly what that man wants, but she just to choose not to give him what he wants. And uh, if you got to do all that, brother, I can for sure tell you there's a lot of a lot a lot of women out here that will gladly, gladly wash your clothes, cook for you, rub your back, do all those different things. Especially if you paying for everything, goddamn, paying for the trips and all the whole nine. Man, you can easily find you somebody out there. But here's the problem. Will they be for you? Will they? Can you trust them? That's the thing. Are they for you? You put a ring on this woman's finger, but she really ain't for you, though. She used you up and she spat you out. And uh, that ain't right, man. But, hey, that's that man, man's program. A lot of dudes out here be thinking that they can just buy these women. They think they can just buy these chicks out here and think everything going to just be all peaches and cream. Oh, well, I married this woman. I gave her everything that she wanted. And you can't even get a meal after 13 motherfucking hours. That's crazy, bro. This your fault, bro. This your fault. It's hers too. But it's your fault because you knew damn well she was a dusty when you met her. Hmm.